Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah and today I'm here doing this little tutorial for you. I don't know why I always do this when I talk about tutorials, but this one was really cool because I created a few polls on Instagram and you guys actually helped me come up with this look. Some of them were a pretty close call, but I left it to the last minute until, you know, um, I had to actually do the application so I could get right down to knuckle crunches on what, uh, like, option one. But it was really fun creating this look. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I'm pretty happy with it. All the products will be mentioned in the video. And if you want to learn how to get this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so jumping right in, I'm going to be starting by priming my eyelids with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. And I'm just blending this out with a beauty blender. And to set that on a tapered brush, I'm going to be taking the RCMA No Color Powder and just dusting that all over my eyelids to make sure all the concealer is set in place. To start the voting, I was happy and also kind of concerned to see you guys had voted for cut crease. You guys clearly wanted to challenge me. And I found it kind of interesting as well that you had wanted to see a metallic shimmer finish rather than a glitter finish. So I'll be doing that for you today. The palette I'm using today is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collaboration Palette. And I'm going in with the shade Silk Cream, which is kind of this brown undertone peachy shade as a transition shade. And since I really want to smoke out that cut crease, I'm going in with a slightly deeper brown shade called Puta, which is just below Silk Cream in the palette. Deepening up those browns even more, I'm going in with the shade Buns, which is just again a deeper brown shade than the other two. We're just building it up here. You really want to focus on layering and blending all of these brown shades together so it creates a more seamless crease. Deepening that up even further, I'm taking the shade Mocha on this e.l.f. brush, which is kind of a pencil blending brush, and I'm keeping that on the outer V and concentrating it right into my crease so the darkest colours are deep into my eye socket kind of thing. And then I'm blending that up with the other brown shades we used before. Dipping into this deep brown shade called Central Park, I'm just focusing this right on the outer V and slightly dragging it into my crease using that pencil brush from before, and then also taking the brush we first used to apply the light brown shades, blending that right up into my crease so it all looks very seamless. Now for the fun part, the cut crease. I'm taking the concealer we used before and I'm applying that just to the middle of my eye at the bottom and then looking up to create a bit of a line as to how high up I want the cut crease to go. I find by doing this it's a lot easier to sketch out your cut crease. And then with a little definer brush, I'm carving that cut crease out. Don't worry if it ends up a bit messy. You can just take a Q-tip and wipe away the excess concealer from where you don't want it to be, obviously. Since Jaclyn Hill's palette didn't have a matte white eyeshadow, I just took this one from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. You can really use any matte white eyeshadow that you have on hand. It's just that the palette I used today didn't have one. Now that the cut crease is all carved out, I just wanted it to be a little bit more defined. So on that pencil brush from before, I took a few of the brown shades, the deeper brown shades that we used and just carved out the top of that cut crease a little bit more to define it. Then using a small bit of that black shade in the palette, I just made it even darker because I wanted it to be quite smoky. And as you can see, I really didn't use much of that black at all. For the metallic part over my lid, I went with the Astralis Metallics eyeshadow in the shade Pearl Jammin and just applied this with a flat shader brush, carving out that cut crease right where we put the concealer and then I just used my finger to layer a bit more of the product over the top as the finger tends to put a bit more pigment on the eyelid rather than a brush. And to blend the gold and the outer portion of my eye together, I took a bit of the black and darker brown shades on a pencil brush and just defined my crease even more where that gold was, as well as blending out the outer V of my eye just in towards the gold. You really didn't want to make this easy for me today and so I was forced into doing a winged liner but really I think it complemented this look and made it even more dramatic. I actually am super happy with how this eye look turned out and just think it looks so pretty and hopefully you guys like it too. And then I just curled my eyelashes to prep them for mascara and did a few coats of mascara before applying some lashes. The lashes I used today are the Model Rock Smoky Velvet Lashes and I just applied them with some of the Duo Clear Lash Glue. Moving on to the face, I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer through my T-Zone to blur out my pores and then I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer on my cheeks to give them a bit of a glow. 
For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal 24 hour matte foundation in the shade Vanilla. Now this one seemed to oxidize because it's quite old, but I've recently bought a new one and the shade isn't this dark, so sorry if it looks like it doesn't match my neck. But as you can see, I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender, trying to get a seamless, flawless, beautiful base. <laughs> To conceal today, I'm using that same concealer we used to prime our eyelids, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. And I'm just taking that under my eyes, down the center of my nose, in my, well, in my forehead, on the center of my forehead and on my chin, blending that out again with the same Beauty Blender sponge and just really lightening up my face, brightening it and making me look a bit more alive. To set that concealer down, I'm just taking the RCMA No Colour Powder on a tapered brush and setting all the places we put the concealer. And then on a bigger, fluffier brush, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the transparent shade. And I'm using this Rimmel Powder to set the rest of my face and down my neck. For bronzer, I am using the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm, sweeping this on, well, under my cheekbones, around my temples, the top of my forehead and a little bit down my neck. I really like this bronzer and it turned out a lot nicer than I was expecting, to be honest. And then for blush, I'm using none other than NARS's Orgasm and just sweeping this in downwards motions towards the center of my face on my cheeks. The brush I'm using for this step is a Real Techniques stippling brush. And to carve out and contour my cheekbones, I'm just taking a bit of the NYX HD blush in the shade Taupe and I'm also using that as a bit of a nose contour. And then I just brush through my eyebrows with a spoolie before going in with an angled brush and an eyeshadow that matches my eyebrow hair colour. And to define my brows even more, I took a bit of concealer and just carved out the edges to make them really sharp. Back to the eyes, I'm going in with the shade Roxanne to start smoking out my lower lash line and I'm just using a thin kind of fluffy brush to do that. To darken that up, I'm going in with the shade Mocha and pushing that right into my lower lash line. And for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black with a mix of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And to highlight today, I'm using one of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors in the shade Moonstone. And I'm just taking that along the tops of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow. And I also use it to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. Since the mascara on my lower lash line would have dried by now, I got a bit on my skin underneath my eyes, so I just took a Q-tip to wipe that away. And then I went in with the Inglot Black Gel Liner and a small brush to apply that to my water lines, both top and bottom. You guys voted for a nude pink lip for this look, so I used the Essence Lip Liner in the shade 06 Satin Mauve or Mauve or however you say it to line the edges of my lips and create a nice shape. And then I used the MAC lipstick in the shade Twig. Now this combination of lip products is my favorite and ideal nude. Um, I just think it matches my skin tone and complements most eye looks really well as well. To finish off this look and set the rest of my face in place for the night, I use the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. Here are a few close-ups of my face. Yes, work it girl. There you have it guys. There is my full glam look that you guys helped me create. I hope you liked this video and maybe learn a thing or two. If you're going to recreate this look or do something similar, don't forget to let me know via my social media. It was really cool having you guys decide what I was going to be putting on my face today. Oh, I just realized I didn't zoom back. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I'm going to be doing more of those poll things so I can incorporate a bit more of my viewers into my video because I think it's really fun and you know it's not always me deciding it's also you I don't know it's cool don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you didn't like it please leave also I just wanted to mention 
I'm probably going to be filming a few more tutorials, so let me know. But this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to do my normal uploads on Sundays and have, you know, other videos other than just a tutorial on, on Sundays. But to not completely get rid of the tutorials, I'm thinking about doing tutorial Tuesday. So every now and then I'll have a tutorial Tuesday and a Sunday upload. Let me know what you think about that, but I'm pretty keen to get that going. Anyway, that's all from me for now. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye, guys.